Hello friends, I'm Rebecca Kegler. Thank you for joining me again today. I'm a cosmetology instructor at Nicolay College in Rhinelander, Wisconsin, and I'm a Curly Girl expert. My passion is to share my Curly Girl expertise on my Girl Tasting Dreams social media platforms. Last time we met, we went over three Curly Girl tips on maintaining your hair, one of which was using a high-end quality natural hair product that really helps to rehydrate your hair. I would like to dive deeper today to show and tell, show you physically and tell you more of why this is my one of my favorite Curly Girl products. <clears throat> Excuse me. I styled half of my hair today, as you can see, and it's very soft, manageable. The curls turned out great. I diffused it, and the only product I used was Loma's Calming Cream. This is the one that is my personal favorite. If your hair seams and looks similar to mine, you probably will get the same benefits I do. If you have a tighter curl pattern and harder to manage curls, this may need to be cocktailed with something else. But if you look similar to me, you will probably get the results that I get. Loma's Calming Cream is anti-frizz, so it helps fight against frizz and humidity in the air. It has a very light hold, and the hold it has is just enough for me. It's not crunchy, and it doesn't dry my hair out. It's perfect. They have heat protection in this product, which helps combat against heat damage when we diffuse our hair. And one of my favorite things about Loma, all of their products, they do not have harsh chemical fragrances inside of them. They use organic aromatherapy to fragrance all of their products. This one is apple and mango aromatherapy, and they are all made in the USA, cruelty-free. None of their products are ever tested on animals, which I love. They are vegan, gluten, and always soy-free. So it is a great natural product that is really sure to give you many benefits. It can be used on dry, wet hair, uh, lots of different ways, but today I'm gonna show you how to do it on wet hair, and then I go ahead and diffuse it. So. I, after I shampoo and condition my hair, I put that microfiber towel in just for a couple of minutes, just so my hair is not dripping wet. But I do style and address my curls pretty quickly to combat frizz, because the longer you let it air dry without anything in it, you're more likely to have more frizz to deal with. You probably will end up using a little more, depending on what you need of calming cream than you would think. That's what I would suggest. I do work it from roots to ends. And I like to say it should almost sound a little bit like squishy and squeegee <laughs> to make sure you have enough product in there so it doesn't get frizzy as you diffuse it. If you don't have a diffuser attachment for your blow dryer, they make many that you can find that would go right on. So this is what a diffuser looks like. There's all different kinds of blow dryers out there that are high quality that will really help diffuse your hair. Why I use a diffuser is because it distributes the air much softer versus blow drying regular and everything just blows around. That is gonna make your hair super frizzy. The air needs to come out in a special way so your hair just dries in more of its natural form fighting against the frizz. And when you go to diffuse, you always wanna do a higher heat setting, not too hot to cause damage, but higher heat and lower air. That helps the curls not blow around and dry in form as naturally as possible. As I use the diffuser, you can see I am very gentle. I try not to break up the curl pattern. I will use a scrunching technique and follow with the diffuser just so it gently dries in the curl formation. I will encourage you to use low air and high heat as you use your diffuser and always make sure you have enough product. I'm using Loma's Calming Cream, and if at any point some of my curls or certain areas seem to be drying out and getting frizzy, I will add a little bit more. But I just continue diffusing, using a scrunching technique and letting the diffuser do most of the work. And it does take quite a while, but this is the way I continue doing it until my hair is fully dry. So you can see using the diffuser and slowly just letting the hair dry. I do use a scrunching technique, but I try not to separate the curls, aggravate the curls. I just let the blow dryer do its work and I just try to encourage the curl formation. And I just take my time. It does take quite a while and some patience to let it air dry 
the most naturally that it can so you don't fight against frizz. So this is the results of using Loma's Calming Cream and diffusing it low air, high heat. I will say if you don't diffuse all the way, try not to touch your hair or your curls a lot until they're completely dry. What's great about the Calming Cream is it can be used as a touch-up product as well. If you have a little bit of frizz happening, I will kind of take it and go in and just touch up if any areas seem dry or frizzy. I will add a little more and this never makes my hair oily or weighted down. It just does the right thing for me personally. Once your hair is completely dry, the way I like to shake out my curls, and I would encourage you to, is I go up underneath. And I just kind of do that. It'll kind of loosen them up and add some volume without frizzing them out. And you can hairspray, move them around as you wish, but wait till it's completely dry to be messing with your curls. So in conclusion, today we went over my favorite natural curly girl hair product. If you have my hair type or something similar, it will probably give you the best benefits like it gives me. If you have a tighter curl pattern, you may need to cocktail with something else, but I told you all the benefits of using Loma's Calming Cream, diffusing, tips and tricks of how to diffuse properly, low air, high heat, take your time. You can use a scrunching technique and make sure that you're applying your product pretty quickly after your hair is washed and dried to combat frizz. If you would like to have some more information on Loma's products or calming cream, please comment on this video and I will send you links and answer all your questions so you can check it out for yourself. I thank you so much for joining me today and follow me on Girl Chasing Dreams Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for more helpful curly girl tips. Have a great day.